another journey. been my main focus uh, so between this one and that one as soon as uh, they say yes or no <laughs> to getting a chance to do it I guess we'll determine uh, where I go from here so and I'd like to that's good. That's a big, big, big deal to me to be able to take that part of our history and put it back. And uh, hopefully, I can do that. I've done a like last year. I did a property not far from where I am, where I've been gone. I didn't even know that uh, there was a big part of our history missing on a church. The third Presbyterian church was missing, or the second. They're not sure which number they fell in. Coffee. And uh, I was able to find it, and it was a great day. And now it's just up to the homeowner to let me know when he's ready to get that straightened out. I think he wants a blue sign out front. He's gonna be regretting that one, but at least, uh, at least it was nice to be a part of it. <clears throat> Out, nobody ever told me that uh, that there was a mystery there. It was something that I just figured out on my own. Just kept digging up foundations and stuff that didn't belong there. So it was great, though. Really enjoyed that part of last year. Wish I recorded it, but I'll be back there and I'll tell you the history as I go along. I think you guys will enjoy it. So, that's where I'm going today. It's only 56 right now, but I guess it's supposed to be a really nice day today. So I can't wait. Not really even sure which part I'm going to go to today, or even which detector I'm going to use sort of uh, fixed my garret today. The handle part's a little on the wobbly side. 
so I gotta wait to get the uh, new part for it. And Garrett's fault, just, you know, sometimes I'm a little rough with them, you know, I pick up the branches with the metal detector and throw them. I'll waste time reaching down every 10 seconds to remove them. I just use the machine. No, it's my own fault. So I'm very excited today. And uh, time to get out with it. So hopefully we find something uh, awesome, you know? different maybe. Yesterday was a, yeah I can say that because the video is going online now. Yesterday I found a great bust half cent and uh, some uh, old cuff buttons and a lot of nails and rocks and roots. I found the great bust on my way out to the truck. Really uh, it was great. You know I've only found one other so it's a great feeling to find the, the smaller ones, you know, I'm so used to finding these large 1700s in the early 18s. And so when you see the, a different one, it's, it's very exciting. Or maybe even have, get some, uh, you know, old silverware or something with uh, the old writing in it. Anything. Off on a journey, and I'll uh, see you guys soon. Okay, guys. I've been finding some odds and ends. Uh, I don't even know if I have anything recorded yet today. It's been so long. Um, but there it is. I'm 12, 14 inches down. Figured I'd leave that in there to... I'll give you guys an idea. Right beside the tree. That came out. All there. It's a pocket knife. Nothing uh, too fancy, but you know. It's a story, and obviously it's all the age of that tree since that's where it was. <laughs> the wood is still on it. The iron buildup has already started, but yet the wood stayed on it. So, yeah, it's a pretty neat find, I must say. That's pretty neat. I got some other odds and ends too. Let me get my finger out of the way. But I'm going to keep going. So, this is where I'm at. I'm way over on the other side. Let's see. Normally, I am right over that way. I came around the back. The, uh, this, this side ain't so clean. It looks like the other side did before I cleared it all out. And there's the big tree. That was out in his driveway. I think it's freaking monstrous. So I'm not far from that. Well, on to the next. Okay guys, I got a really good signal right here. In the 80s. Very high 80s, 88. It's everywhere. Did you guys see that? I'm holding this in my hand thinking this clump was it. Did you see that? Right there. I don't know if it's a button or a coin. Make sure there's nothing left in there. Nope. I'm excited. Let's find out what this is. Okay. Well, 
into the sunlight, I don't know. It's kind of slicky. Let me spray real quick. I'll be right back. So there it is. Um, not able to get anything off of it. So something. Oopsie poo. Something I'm gonna have to do at the house. So here's them back. I dug the uh, coin right there. So I got up some more signals and I said screw it. So I took all the trees out. So now they're over there. And I've dug the curved nail since. A lot of nails since. Starting my new pile of rocks. Keep getting signals. Oh, it could be a good thing. But there's my next find. It was right here. Uh, it was about 8 to 10 inches down. But One of the old uh, plow or um, lawn mower, the mowers uh, that the horses would uh, drag along there, the powered mower there by the horses. Yeah, powered mower by the horses. So it probably had about two horsepower. That's what it is. You can see it right there. So that's what it was. But I got signals all through here. I have a feeling this might become the new spot for a little while until I can get out there. So, on to the next. Okay, guys, I'm back. That's where I got the coin. That's where I've got the mower. Where the mower blade there. Uh, I'm not going to keep trying to name it. So, it hasn't even been 30 seconds. So, I want to try to live it, dig it. See, you hear that rock in there? <laughs> that could put this thing anywhere. So I'm always digging a little wider. I've hit a medallion once in a 1787 Connecticut, and as you know, I have hibernia. So. Can't live with that. Gotta do it right. Uh, I'd like to just flip a plug once and have something shell. <laughs> but it's kind of hard when you're in the woods. It's all these roots and rocks are saying, okay, I'm back. I haven't gone anywhere yet. Make sure I stay out. This is where the hole was. This is where the hole is. And yeah, right around that six inch mark. Got all these little signals out of this hole, rescanned it, and now it's putting me over here. See why I do the holes the size that I do? Because if, if you get two or three items in one thing, you could end up right over it and whack it. Yeah, I've done it too many times with these big coils. So, anyways. Uh, then I see that. You see it? Right on the edge there. I don't know if it's a button. I haven't looked at it yet. We're gonna, we're gonna go over here in the sun a little. Let's look at it together. I can feel that it's a coin. Not found a large set here at the Liberties. Everything's been older. I can't see it. I'm sure you guys are going, oh, yeah, I agree. So, nope. Okay, start to turn. I have a feeling it's going to be a draped, but. I don't know. Let me try to wet it really quick. 
got a positive ID on it. I'll do it this way. Do it the old fashioned way. Yeah. There. You can almost make it out. <laughs> 18 0. That two is right there. As I turn it, there you go. 1802. Hey, I can't stay still. <laughs> so, it's a draper. That's awesome. I got a draped half sent yesterday. Ah, oh, it's great. Awesome. So, I think I have my done for today. Uh, all kinds of stuff. I'll do a wrap up at the truck. Alright, I'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, I figured I'd just dump the pouch out and give you an idea. I don't even uh, know what time it is. But, uh, there we go. These were, I think, trail reflectors or things that the old owner put on the garden. They were out here, they, uh, they're all over the place. Old snowmobile trails used to come through here too. Aluminum tag. Of course, I got the plow blade. Uh, don't really know what that is. It's flat on one side. And I'm sure it has something to do with, you know, the old farming. We'll clean it up, don't find out. There's the pocket knife. These were old carriage bolts that they put through the wood and the straps or strapping plates, whatever they were using at the time. Um, would be right there on the outsides. And that's how they joined them all together. Yep. That's probably number 10 or 20 uh, for them right now. That's a pretty good. As in, hopefully it cleans up pretty good. Because I don't know what it is. I thought that was kind of cool. It's like it's a, a little thing of, uh, you know, whole bull horns, you know what I mean? <laughs> But it's, it's all iron. Really odd one, that one. That I do not know. But I know it's pretty neat. Looks to me like they used to have it go through the hole there. and Possibly one strap thing would be on that side and that would be on the other. But that is a guess. I said I was going to head out. But I got a signal on my way out. I think that's part of a horseshoe. I got some small horseshoes here, and some large ones. There's your square nail, the bit, the old, old, old ones. As you can see, I just dumped my pouch in here so you guys could see. You know, get. I think it's only been. I don't know. I really don't even know what time it is. I would guess maybe four hours, but I don't know. I found this today, <clears throat> and it's got green patina on it. That's pretty neat. Now, an adult fork, I know, is at least four times that size, so, back then. And I don't know what a kid fork would look like that, <laughs> that early, so I don't know if that's what that is or not. But it sure looks like it. But that's what I think that would be. And it's green. Another nail. Oh, this was uh, through the center of that. I just took it out so I could put it in my pouch. I was like, hmm, a modern something. Square nail, square nail, square nail. Don't know. Tree branch. Hmm. Yeah. 
sometimes it's their spoon handles. Scar now. Scar now. I thought I had found the world's smallest horseshoe, but it was a, uh, it was a square nail. But I don't really know. And the other things that are in here are so small like this and smaller than that, I wouldn't even be, uh, see, look at this. That's actually something my dog. So it was that little guy and that little guy and that little guy. <laughs> Got all kinds of them. Doink! If that's not the smallest snail you've ever seen, Look at that. <laughs> Unreal. Never know what you're going to find. I can entertain myself with anything. So, that's out of that. And out of here, I got more of that uh, broke shoe buckle looking thing that I had gotten a while ago. There's uh, two pieces of it. It was bent over. It was right out in here today. So, that was neat. The unidentified coin, the first one. We'll find out what that is. And the 1802 Drake Bust. Largey. I know these are large scents, but you know, I'm talking uh, any of the Liberty heads. I'll put these in here. So, folks, that was my journey for today. I hope you enjoyed. And, um,. Uh, I'll see you at the next, and thanks for watching.